Hey guys, what's up? It's Maya from MayaElias.com. And today I want to talk to my creatives. Now, chances are if you follow me on Snapchat, Periscope, Twitter, Instagram, my blog, my emails, you consider yourself to be a creative. So I want to talk to creatives today about why we are always feeling overwhelmed. Do you feel like you've been feeling overwhelmed lately or just feeling like you're not good enough or feeling like you're behind or feeling like you're never going to catch up to the experts? I feel like this topic is so important because as creatives, we look up to so many people that consider themselves to be experts and then we start to downplay all of the things that we have done. So I want to talk about the three things that are making us overwhelmed. The first thing is that we are always feeling behind when we have no reason to feel like that. We always feel behind. Now, the reason that we're always feeling behind is because we're eating up way too much content. There's podcasts, there's periscopes, there's YouTube, there's blog posts, there's free challenges, there's email challenges, there's webinars. And every time we learn something, we pile something on and pile something on and pile something on that we feel like we should be doing instead of really just choosing a core focus of a goal that we want to accomplish. Every single time that we learn something new that we have to do in our business to get to the next level, we feel like we are so behind. It's really, really important that you are very picky with the type of content that you decide to consume because consuming too much content is going to make you feel like you're never going to get somewhere. I know it's amazing that there's so much free content out there, but sometimes that's why it's best to just make an investment in one person's course or do one one-on-one -on -one coaching with somebody because you just have the opportunity to listen to one voice that's going to give you a set path on how to reach your goals. When we listen to too many voices telling us what we have to be doing to make six figures or what we have to be doing to have an engaging social media presence, we start feeling behind. There's no reason to feel behind. And another thing with feeling behind is that we always feel like oh, I'm too young or I'm too old or I waited too long or maybe I need to wait a little bit longer. I'm going to tell you something. I worked with young women who were college students and I've worked with women that were over 60 years old. Some people feel too old. Some people feel too young. There is never a perfect time. You are exactly where you need to be. Stop always trying to play catch up. Just continue to put in the work. Decide what your core focus is right now and work on that. If you want to grow your Pinterest, work on growing your Pinterest. If you want to grow your Instagram, work on growing your Instagram. But don't try to build your blog, make $50,000, grow your Pinterest, grow your Periscope, grow your Instagram all at the same time. Of course, you're going to be overwhelmed. Listen to less voices try to do less things by having a core focus and you won't feel so overwhelmed. Another thing with all of these free things that we have access to with the challenges and the courses and the master classes and the webinars is that again they are free. Most of them aren't going anywhere unless you know they have like a limited time replay but for the most part a lot of the free content that we are consuming it's not going anywhere. There's no reason to feel behind because there's no deadline. There's no deadline to all of this information that you're trying to consume. There's no point in pressuring yourself and trying to meet a deadline that's not there. Now, the number two reason that we always feel overwhelmed is because of expectations set on us by other people. Now, this one is huge and I can speak from experience with this one. For me, it was my parents who I love to death. And of course, you know, parents are going to set expectations for you when you are growing up. It's what they're supposed to do, right? But when you start figuring out who you are, what you want to do, and society has already pushed all of these expectations on where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be married by a certain age. You're supposed to have a certain job. You're supposed to have, you know, babies by a certain age. You're supposed to be making a certain amount of money, right? Having all of those expectations just weighing down on us is causing us to feel 
overwhelmed. In my personal experience, it was because I decided not to graduate college because I wanted to continue running my business. And every single time somebody in my family graduated or a friend of the family graduated, I felt like I wasn't good enough. It's crazy because the people that are closest to us and who are supposed to love us the most or who actually do love us the most are the ones that make us feel like we are inadequate. And we feel like that because we're not meeting their expectations. It's really important that you have your own expectations set for yourself for those moments where you're not feeling good enough. You at least know you're working towards a goal that you have set for yourself. The only checklist that you need to be crossing off is the checklist that you write for yourself. Stop trying to fulfill a to-do list that was written by somebody else. That's not fair to you at all. And this even ties with the first point. We start feeling behind trying to meet other people's expectations because we realized we weren't going in that direction in the first place. So if somebody wants your path to go this way and you were going this way and then you're starting to get confused on which one you're supposed to be doing, of course you're going to feel behind because you're not even on the right road. The only road that you need to be on is the road that makes you happy. Set your own expectations and push through with them. The third reason that we are always feeling overwhelmed as creatives is that we are not saying no enough. We're not saying no enough. We have this crazy need to feel busy all of the time. So we say yes to everything. Yes, I'll come to your event. Yes, I will speak at your gig. Yes, I'll collaborate on a webinar with you. Yes, I'll come to your birthday party. Yes, I'll come to your fifth baby shower. We always, always, always say yes to things instead of ourselves. What I want you to focus on is saying, yes to rest. Start saying yes to rest. I'll give an example. A lot of times we don't say no to things because we're like, well, I don't have anything going on anyway. But guess what, guys? You don't have to have anything going on in order to say no to something. It's called relaxing. A really close colleague of mine was doing an event in my city and she asked me last minute to be a panelist. And for a second, I felt bad because I didn't really have anything going on, but I still said no, but I really wanted to sit at home and relax and watch Netflix and allow my brain to rest, right? Saying no means that you really care about your sanity sometimes. Sometimes you just really mentally and emotionally and physically do not have it in you to say yes to people all of the time. You have to respect your sanity enough to be able to say no. All of these things are so important because a lot of time this overwhelm turns into anxiety and it turns into depression because we're not feeling good enough, we're not following the right path, and we are not allowing ourselves to get the right amount of rest that we need to be creatives. As creatives, a lot of what we do doesn't require physical strength, but it's emotionally tolling on ourselves, right? You have to protect your soul, you have to protect your sanity, and it's really important that you're saying no to opportunities that are not serving your purpose, or if you just literally do not have it in you, do not feel obligated to say yes to other people. Say yes to yourself, say yes to rest. Now, if you have been struggling with any of these three things, I want you to be really intentional about just following a path that is true to you. There's no reason to continue feeling overwhelmed. You know what your purpose is. You know what your calling is. You know what you truly want to do. Go after that. Take your time. Respect the process. Do not try to rush. A lot of the experts that you follow have been in the game for probably five years longer than you at the very least. Give yourself some time. You're putting too much pressure on yourself to do something in nine months that somebody has done in probably five, six, seven, eight years, right? There's no such thing as an overnight success. If you've seen one, it's probably taken them 10 years to get there. So I want you guys to be easy on yourselves. If you have felt overwhelmed lately because of reading a blog post, taking a challenge or anything like that, please feel free to share it with me below in the comment section. And if you liked today's video, please subscribe. Can't wait to hear from you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.